All right, this is an um, online platform for clinicians, Google Meet session. So we are going to have two hours session um, to know how to use Google Meet for your meeting or for your teaching uh, session. Yeah? By the way, my name is Haila Abdul Hamid. Uh, I'm the trainer for this uh, session. We are going to look into uh, Google Meet uh, for uh, as a teaching and learning tool uh, for online classes. Okay. This is my profile and this is going to be our topics for today. For two hours, we are going to cover about introduction to Google Meet, uh, schedule a video meeting from calendar and roles as an admin, collaborate the, in video meetings, sharing materials during meeting. This one is very important because uh, using Google Meet, uh, they have a different way of sharing files. Yeah, not in the meeting platform itself, but via email or Google Drive. Okay, assigning tasks and follow up and recording the session. Okay, from time to time, um, video conferencing tool will be updated. So, uh, I think I have uh, give a sharing folder link to adapt to share to all the participants uh, with all these uh, articles and ebooks. But uh, from time to time, you need to check on the updates here because uh, it has uh, for for the past three months uh, they have updated every single video conferencing tool uh, every other weeks. Yeah, so we have to make sure that we get the most updated uh, features of our video conferencing tool. Yeah, um, in Malaysia, particularly in education sector, um, the most popular tools that we use is Google Meet and Microsoft Teams because um, in MOHE and also uh, MOE, uh, Microsoft and Government of Malaysia has some collaboration that uh, uh, academicians and also students uh, are given uh, an email address or um, software that can be used for Google and for Google for Education and also uh, Microsoft 365 for Education. Okay. All right, these are the features for Google Meet. Um, every video conferencing tool, it has a basic concept of webcam and also audio. Okay, so if you come across any video conferencing tool, but it doesn't have uh, a webcam and audio features, that is not a video conferencing tool. It might be a chat tool, okay, or it might be only a video call tool. So if you come across any video conferencing tool, they claim to be a video conferencing tool, but it, it, it doesn't have those, uh, the, the basic features, the webcam and the audio uh, tools, then you cannot, uh, they cannot claim it as video conferencing tool. Okay. And um, recently, video conferencing tool has been updated and has been upgraded to also share files, you know, file sharings. Yeah. And if we go further, you will see that um, tools like uh, Microsoft Teams uh, or Google Classroom can do assignments, can do polls, and can do a lot of things. Yeah. All right. These are the features for uh, Google Meet. We are going to go through this later. Yeah. Uh, in details, I just want to show you at a glance. Uh, view meeting participants where you can see all the 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 participants from the right pin yeah if uh, if you are looking at my screen now i think you can see your people as well because uh from my side i only can see my slides yeah you can also chat from there okay uh if there is any problem at your side it's good that you can uh switch on your mic and ask questions yeah because sometimes i didn't realize there's a chat coming in okay uh you can pin the participant we are going to do this later uh as a host you can remove a participant but if you are a participant you want to be able to remove a, a participant we have additional settings in the triple dot uh, icon uh, we have an icon to present now okay which means 
as a participant and as a host, you can share your screen. Okay. At the moment, I am the participant of this group. Yeah. Uh, and Adek is an is an organizer or host. Uh, so I I am be able to share my screen. Yeah. Um, you have a, a webcam. Okay. You have a phone icon to leave meeting. Okay. This is for if the host leave the meeting, it, it will leave for the whole group. Okay. Uh, the microphone and also the meeting details or the uh, title of uh, of the meeting. Okay. And also the attachment. Okay. And uh, for Google Meet, um, they depend a lot on add-ons. Yeah. For other video conferencing tool like Microsoft Teams or um, uh, Zoom, okay, most of the features are embedded or built in in the tools itself. Okay, but in Google Meet, they depend a lot on add-ons, which means if you want to use the add-ons, you need to install the add-ons. That is why it is good that when you want to use Google Meet as a video conferencing tool, you need to use it in Google Chrome browser, okay? Because within the same family. So it's much more easier to, to manage Google Meet, yeah? And if you want to use um, some of the additional features like um, grid view, whereby from my experience, um, I think a month ago, I can view 55 people in one screen because of the grid view features. Yeah, and we have the not reaction, and we also have mid attendance. These are among the, the most popular add ons. Yeah, we, we also have mid attendance so that Google Meet will generate Google Sheets for, for your students' attendance. You um, uh, install the add ons, and it will automatically um, uh, generate the participants' names and time yeah, based on uh, the attendance, okay? And you have the push to talk. So we have a lot of add-ons for, for our Google Meet. Yeah, this is some of it, yeah? All right. Uh, this is the tips for successful virtual meetings or online teaching, whereby um, in general, in, in general, you have to schedule a meeting or a, uh, or a class using uh, Google Calendar, okay? And then uh, make sure you have a person to become a moderator. If you can handle it by yourself, then you can organize, you, you, you can create a Google Calendar, you can create event in Google Calendar and invite all your students. If you are not be able to invite for every single email because you might have more than like 50 students, you can always get the link of the uh, meeting of the, the online class, copy and paste and share it via WhatsApp or any uh, social media for your students. Yeah? Um, you can take notes yeah, if you want to. Normally, I will use uh, Notepad or Microsoft Word to just take note if there's anything, yeah, if, if there's a meeting. Um, mute. You can request your participants if uh, there are a lot of voices around, okay? You can request your participant to mute their mic, yeah? Um, we always use chat. We always use chat for our conversation or mic uh, if, it's, um, if it's necessary for the, the participant to switch on the mic and ask questions, okay? Uh, moderator calls on people to unmute um, uh, microphone. So if you think that every single participant uh, switch on their mic, you can request them to switch off their mic. And uh, when uh, a session been recorded, uh, because the 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 record session can be done only by the organizer. Okay, uh, the record session will record the whole session of meeting or online class. At the same time, it will also record the chat, okay, in text file. Uh, the chat will have the timestamp and also uh, uh, the person name who is asking with 
with the text okay in in the text form in the text format okay if you are using a webcam if you switch on your your webcam and if there is any problem with the internet line due to your bandwidth yeah in your area you can switch off your webcam yeah actually using uh webcam is is not compulsory um unless you been requested to do so yeah when we have a small small group of meeting then uh the organizer will will uh, request you to switch on your 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 webcam for attendance purposes or for you know to present something uh then you can switch on your your webcam okay other than that you are requested to switch off your webcam okay all right these are the pros and cons of using google meet okay um google meet have a very good uh, collaboration with google calendar and also um, google drive okay whenever you want to share files whenever you want to share files you can put attachment in your google calendar invitation or you can create a folder in google drive so that you can share the link to your participants okay um you can hold up to 250 people at one time for free until end of september okay because um i believe that um um email can can hold uh 250 participants uh as long as you have the um.edu.my email because um um has subscribed uh the google for education so that uh and pay to google so that you can use your um um email uh as a business email okay um you can access from all uh devices from the laptop and also from uh, your mobile okay um recordings every single recordings is kept in google drive which means if you record the session whenever you stop your recording it, it it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be when you leave meeting then then you can stop your your recording you can start your recording anytime and you can stop recording at any time at all yeah then when you stop your recording it will uh, process and save in your google drive Uh, we have uh, caption, automatic captioning, okay, in English, if you want to uh, have it on, uh, whenever you have a meeting with um, any participants or, or, or outsiders, yeah, and they speak too fast, then you can switch on uh, the caption so that you can read just like the subtitle. Okay, no time limit on calls, which means if they, uh, if any participants um, engage for the Google Meet meeting using phone calls, uh, uh, Google Meet can run uh, for 24 hours at one time meeting. Okay, there is no uh, limitation on uh, Google Meet meeting. Okay, um, one of the one of the weakness of Google Meet and i believe that they are going to upgrade this soon which is no waiting room for participants that join early which means if um you uh we have lobby google meet has lobby which means some of the link the organizer need to admit you in okay but uh most of the link that they get directly from email invitation the participant will go direct to uh, into the the meeting as long as the organizer uh, is is there okay so if the organizer is late then the participants will wait at the lobby they call it lobby okay but uh, google meet doesn't have the uh, waiting room doesn't have a breakout room to uh, separate participants just like zoom okay and only one person at, at a time can share the screen which means uh some of the video conferencing tool when you compare it to zoom 
or to Microsoft Teams, you can share more than one screen at a time, which means uh, participants can have multiple screen sharing and you can choose which screen you can see, not the webcam, but the screen. So uh, for Google Meet, it allow you to only uh, share one screen at a time, okay? So if I'm sharing my screen, then uh, the organizer will not be able to share their screen, okay? And, and until I stop sharing my screen, then it will go back to the organizer, okay? Um, user pri privacy has been improved uh, from time to time, okay? Especially the security, because um, this Google Meet can only be uh, entered uh, number one by the admission of the organizer number two if you have the link okay so uh, and within the google family if you are inviting uh, participants from a different email then definitely uh, the organizer need to admit them in yeah but if you are inviting people within the same email just like dot um dot edu dot my Okay, most of, of the email can go in, uh, can can go into the meeting immediately as long as the organizer has run the, the meeting. Okay, all right. Now we are going to the the hands-on part, which I'm going to show you um, step by step on how to use Google Meet from the Google Calendar until the the Google Meet uh, meeting. Yeah. Ah, this is the plan, but I think this is this is um, not related to most of you. But uh, I'm I'm using the basic uh, plan uh, for my own company. Okay, we have to pay like six USD per month, yeah, per user. So it, so it, if I have two emails in that company email, I have to pay six times two USD, which is 12, 12 USD per month. And I have to pay yearly about um, uh, 20 USD per year for the subscription of the domain, okay? So uh, for UM, you have uh, you have the privilege that use uh, the email and Google Apps for free because it includes, it includes in subscription for Google for Education, yeah? All right. Now we are going to um, use a Google Calendar to create an event. Yeah. Okay. Um, in your chat area, you, uh, you, you can see the uh, link for you to go into the articles and ebooks that, that have been compiled. Uh, as your reference, okay, and also the the slide just now, okay. So if you want to um, create an event for your Google Meet, first of all, you need to go to Google Calendar. So I'm going to click on the new tab, okay. I'm going to click on the new tab, and from the the new tab, I'm going to change my um, email. So that I can show you how we create Google Calendar. I'm, I'm not going to use the, the same email that I use for this Google meeting uh, because it will get into conflict. Okay. So this is a different email. So this is the Google um, tab. And normally you will go into your email, right? Uh, like this. Okay. Your UM email. Then you can go to the uh, icon, okay, near to your uh, picture, then go to calendar. So from this calendar, you can create an event for your Google Meet, okay? If you want to have immediate meeting, you, you don't have to go to calendar, but instead you go to meet directly and join meeting, and you can share your, your link uh, via WhatsApp or via any chat communication, yeah? This one, Google Meet, okay? All right, so this is the the calendar, okay? So if you want to create your invitation or your meetings, you need to click on the create button, okay? Click on the create button, and then straight away, click on more options, so that you will have a full screen of 
your uh, event creation page. Okay, so type in the title. Let's say we, we are going to have um, um, introduction. Introduction to IT. Okay. And I'm going to have this introduction to IT at around 6 or 1 o'clock today for one hour. Okay. You can change your date. You can change your time. Okay. From, um, from here, from, from this area. Okay. And from my option page, I have two video conferencing tools. I have Google Meet and I also have Zoom meeting because I have add on the uh, Zoom meeting for Google Chrome. Okay, as you can see on the top right here, on the top right here, okay, if you look at my, my cursor, yeah, on the top right here, I have all the add-ons that I have installed. Yeah, I'm going to show you later how to install this, this add-on. And that is also one of the reasons why my webcam has a background of the bookshelf because I have installed the virtual background for Google Meet. Yeah. All right. Now, um, we can just click on add Google Meet video conferencing. Okay. Recently, Google has allowed free Gmail to assign or to create Google Meet. Uh, previously, they, they only allowed business Gmail uh, to, to create a Google Meet meeting. They only allowed free Gmail to create Google Hangouts. Okay. So since April, since April this year, they have eliminated Google Hangouts because they've started with Google Hangouts and then they have Google Hangouts Meet and then now they have only Google Meet. So that is the evolution of their video conferencing tools. Yeah? So when you click on join with Google Meet, then we have the link here that you can simply highlight, copy and paste to your participants. Yeah, Because in order to add guests here, you need to in, in order to add guests here, you need to type in or you need to copy and paste, uh, paste the guest with a comma. So if you have um, too many guests or too many participants for your Google Meet, then it is advisable for you to highlight the link and copy and paste via WhatsApp. Okay. So that one is much more easier. If you want to see the details of this link, you can just click on the arrow. Then you will see the meeting ID. Um, please do not use the phone number because that is a US numbers. Yeah. If you want, if uh, please advise your participants to use the apps instead. Okay. Which means if they are using a phone, they need to install Google Meet yeah, in their phone then they can use the internet line to assess the meeting. Okay, please do not use, uh, it is advisable not to use the phone numbers. Okay, because sometimes it's not stable. So uh, we can have this uh, ID. I always highlight and copy and paste, you know, to, to WhatsApp. Now we have uh, WhatsApp for web, right? So you can just uh, run your WhatsApp for web, you can just copy and paste to the group. Yeah, it can be much more easier. Okay. And in this uh, more, more option page, we also have uh, the location. Okay. If you want to, to decide on the location, if it's an online training, then you don't have to put the location. There is uh, also notification. Okay. And you can also put some description. You can type in some description for uh, this uh, session, Let, uh, let's say we type in, uh, this is the introduction session. Okay, for first year group. All right. And you can add attachment at the same time, 
you can insert link. Okay, sometimes you want to to ask your students or your participants to read from a website. So you you go to the website, you copy the link, and you paste it here. Okay, or you can just add attachment from here. Okay, either your attachment from the Google Drive or from your desktop, you can always add attachment from here. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna click on add attachment and uh, you can choose which area you want to use yeah from my drive or from any folder that been shared with you or upload upload means you can just drag any files from windows explorer into this yeah so i'm going to show you um how uh, you can use your current files in your desktop or in your pc into this yeah uh, the moment you drag into the upload area and uh, it will compile and it will save in the Google Drive. Okay. I believe that um, for UM email, the Google Drive is quite big, uh, around one terabyte. Yeah, that's why I've been informed. So you don't have to worry about the size, yeah. Because for for the for for the corporate email, our Google Drive is only 30 gigabyte. If we want to add on, we have to pay. Yeah. So it's about um, 10 USD per month for another 100 gigabyte. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click on the Windows Explorer. This one. And from here, I can just choose any of the files that I want to share. For example, I want to share a video. Okay. Since it goes straight to to the google drive it, it doesn't have any limitation of the file size yeah so i'm going to share a video i have a lot of videos here illegal videos because it's a learning videos okay um youtube oh i have the open epin <laughs> as well okay the youtube video let's say i'm going to put google meet this one uh this is the there are videos that that i have compiled here so if i want to share with my participants, I can just drag and drop. Okay, how to drag and drop? I can just drag the file and drop it here. Okay, I think I have to reduce the size so that it's easier for you to see. Yeah. Okay. And if I want to get the PDF file, I can just go to any of the folder. And then I just go to any of the files here. That's I'm going to use um, this one. Ah, I just want to use one of the picture. So I just drag and put it here. Okay. So now we have two files. One is about 0 0.2 megabyte. Another one is about 20 megabyte. Okay. So in email, in, in your UM email account, you can attach a file um with the maximum size of 23 megabyte per file per attachment yeah so uh if you exceed the uh the uh limit then it will go straight as a link to the google drive but here you can just simply attach yeah so when i click upload it will go to my to my to my google drive okay all right and if you want to add guests, you can add guests from here. So I can just type in uh, my another email, my free email. Okay, and you get get guests here. And if you are the organizer and you work in a team, you can allow to modify guests, invite others, and see guest list so that others can also invite uh, another guest and modify the event. Okay, so since uh, my corporate email, my corporate Gmail is inviting a free Gmail account. It will give you few pop-ups. But if you are inviting within your UM email, it won't give you these pop-ups, yeah? Okay, when I click save, when I click save, I will get this pop-up. Okay, so uh, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? which means if you have a guest, then they will receive an invitation email, okay? I think um, 
I've no idea whether you are receiving invitation or you just apply to go into the 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 session yeah but uh, my uh, my private class I will always send invitation email yeah so I just send invitation email and Google will inform you if you are um, if you are inviting outsiders okay so kusaru at gmail.com is a free gmail which is not within my corporate email that is why it pop up this okay so if you are inviting students from the same organization from um then you don't have you won't be able to get this um pop up yeah so i just invite external guests okay and since i'm sharing a file from my google drive okay then it, it, it will pop up this yeah someone needs access to file so if i share with one person then it will share to kusaru at gmail.com yeah it depends on the security level of that particular email okay if google think that that free gmail is vulnerable of any security level issue then kusaru at gmail.com will not be able to go direct to the folder but it will send me email send me email to grant access okay but if you have too many students to handle if you have 50 students then then 50 students will grant access from you it's going to be a bit annoying okay so you just turn link sharing on which means anyone with the link can just click and get the files in okay that is why when you do anything within the class session it is good that you have your own folder okay you have your own folder you don't have to do this attachment you have your own folder and sharing it via uh, online class du during the class session so that whoever attend the class we only get that link if they can get it from their friend it's okay yeah but um the exclusivity the one who get it early are those who attend the session okay so just invite okay so in my calendar i will have this introduction to it okay at the same time at the same time i will be receiving an email uh, this is my kusaru at gmail.com i'll be receiving an email from there there you see invitation introduction to it okay so when i click this i will get an invitation of the event of the meeting okay of the class online so in this invitation i will see the link of the google meet yeah and at the same time if you are doing this invitation to your students or to your participants please inform them please rsvp especially when the meeting is not online when we have to reserve seats when we have to reserve um lunch or tea okay so uh it's good that uh it becomes a habit to all of us to rsvp yeah so i'm gonna click yes i'm gonna click yes for this email and Hello, is everyone still there? Uh, you yeah. are still in the group. Hmm. Yeah. Am, am I still here? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, because I just realized I have problem with my internet connection. All right. Okay. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking alone. Okay, right. Uh, where were I just now? At the, at the email? This one? Yes. 
right? So this is the invitation for for the participant. And I go to my email, then I, I can see that Kusaru received my 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 invitation and accept my invitation. Okay. All right. If there's if there's any problem occur after this, the same problem that I might be not uh, I might be invisible or I might disappear. But you you don't have to leave the the meeting. I'm gonna rejoin. Okay. So if you have if you have the same problem, then you can just rejoin. Yeah. Um, I just want to ask the organizer, are you recording the session? Can you, can you repeat that again? Are you recording the session? Uh, yes, uh, we are recording no. the session. It will be available at our website. Okay, all right. All right, no problem. Okay, okay. so um, uh, as an organizer, I can see the email. Okay, been the email been uh, the invitation been accepted. Okay, and from my Google Meet, I will see. I will see the event. So I go to Meet from this email. I go to a Meet, and I will see the email. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. So the list of events. The list of events for today's event will be listed in Google Meet. So you uh, actually you don't have to go back to email and click on on join Google Meet. Okay, you can just go straight to your Meet and then click on the list of this email. Okay, all right. So this is uh, my my another email Google Meet. Okay, one of the advantage of using Google Meet is that you can have multiple tabs of your meetings, which means if you are only a participant, you can, uh, you, you can disable your microphone and your webcam. You can attend several meetings at one time. Okay, which means you can have few tabs here. Yeah, you can have this one, you can have this one, and you can have few more, yeah, as a participant. But if you are the presenter, then uh, you can disable your, your webcam and also your uh, mic uh, from other step. Uh, you can uh, concentrate on only one, one meeting to present. Yeah? So this is one of the advantages of using Google Meet. You can have multiple, mul uh, multiple um, uh, meetings at one time yeah so if i click on my uh, event here okay then i can have my my meeting here you see uh, so this is my my uh, meeting you can just join now but i'm going to disable this mic okay and I'm going to disable the video as well. As you can see, my video from our session is still on. Okay, my mic is still on. My screen sharing is still on. But I can switch off this. Okay. Now, I'm going to invite, uh, I'm going to share this link to uh, the chat area. Okay. So I want to see whether you can you can uh, go into my meeting or not. Okay, so I'm going to share this. So what you have to do is to click on this link. Can you click on this link? Oh, it, it doesn't look like a link. Let me just try again, yeah. Copy joining info. Let's see whether I can copy, uh, paste it here. Ah, we can just click on the link. Click the first link. Click on the first link and let's see whether you can go into another uh, meeting, another tab. Yeah.
Tem. Sim? Tem. Hum. All right? Ok. Okay, so as you can see here that we can run few meetings at one time. And my voice is from the, the other the other session, not from here because I switch off my uh, my webcam and also my mic. Okay. All right, got it. So what happened if I leave this meeting? What happened if I leave this meeting here? Yeah? So I'm going to leave this meeting, this this um, this testing meeting, yeah. So I'm going to leave this meeting. Uh, if there's any problem with another meeting, uh, please stay. I'm going to rejoin, yeah. Sometimes there's there's a conflict. Okay, I'm going to leave this meeting. Right then, you can read this this meeting. But at the same time, what happened to my my meeting? This meeting is still on, right? Okay. My my meeting is still on, right? Uh, so we don't have any issue with with this uh, with this meeting. So you can have multiple meetings at one time if you are using Google Meet. From my experience, when I use Zoom or when I use Microsoft Teams, they only allow me to attend a meeting one at a time. Okay. If you are into another meeting, then they will automatically block you. Yeah, so you cannot have multiple meetings at one time unless you are using website and the apps different uh, environment. Then you can attend two meetings at one time. But if you are using only web, they don't allow you to to have that meeting. Okay, as far as I concern, uh, because from time to time they do update. Yeah, maybe now they they allow. We we don't know. We we didn't try it uh, as for today. Yeah, so. So far, um, from my understanding, it didn't allow you to uh, have multiple meetings unless you are using Google Meet. Yeah, the reason I, I I encourage education sector to use Google Meet or Microsoft Teams because we have the infrastructure ready. Yeah, in uh, in our environment to use this this Google Meet. Okay, and also Microsoft Teams. Yeah. All right. Now we are going to go through this area. Yeah, if I click or if I uh, click on the black screen, I will see my icons here. Okay. Don't be surprised if you see yourself in the screen here yeah? because this is my screen. So this is the meeting details. The meeting details. It has a joining info and also it has attachment. Okay, since we don't have any attachment in our email, uh, then it doesn't have any attachment here. But you will get your files via uh, Google Drive folder, okay, in the chat. Okay, we have the mic here. Yeah, if I turn off the microphone, you won't be able to uh, hear my voice. Okay, uh, if I leave call, I am the only one who who leave the meeting because I am not the organizer. But if a deck leave uh, meeting, then everyone will be kicked out from the session. Okay, and this is the the uh, webcam. Yeah, if I switch off this, it won't affect it won't affect my uh, screen sharing. Okay. It won't affect my, my screen sharing because at the moment I have two screen. One is the screen sharing, another one is my webcam. Okay, so if you think that when you are organizing or when you are conducting a meeting or the online session, if you think that your environment is not suitable to be uh, seen or to show to others, then you can switch off your webcam. Sometimes I have problem with my with my um my, my microphone that uh, overlap with the webcam so my 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 voice will vibrate then i have to switch off my webcam okay all right so we have this turn on captions if i turn on caption 
then you will be able or you will see the text yeah running as a subtitle i don't i have no idea whether we have this there uh there's a subtitle there so if you have a meeting with the uh, fast spoken person or presenter uh, then it's easy for you to just see it yeah with a very good english if you are using a slang english then they, they won't be able to capture what happened if i speak in malay kalau saya berbahasa melayu apa yang dia akan letak dekat situ hmm they are guessing a lot of things yeah so you can turn off captions if you don't want it to to be there yeah so if you want to present your screen you can click you are uh, you you can click on on the icon i i think that um this time around the icon says uh, either attack is presenting or kusaru technology is presenting or something you can have a look on there if you want to um interrupt you can just share your screen from here yeah and we have another more option icon whereby you can change layout yeah you can have it full screen and you can go to the setting to uh, modify your audio and also your webcam okay uh, so these are the the action that you can use if you are the organizer you can have um record meeting okay so the moment you click on uh, record meeting it will give you a pop-up uh, window to accept the consent and it will record the meeting three three four seconds after that okay so um while having a session you can have a uh, meeting being recorded okay and once you stop recording of your session it will go to your google drive i'm going to show you a sample of a recording session that i've done for my classes yeah uh is in here and i go to my google drive it will create one folder that is called meet recordings okay this is the the folder meet recordings you can double click on the folder and you will see there are videos and also text file of the session okay it will give you the title where you put it in your email invitation the title this is the the, the, the chat the text file well, and this is the video okay the recording session as you can see one hour recording session will take about 220 megabyte around that yeah and if i have one and a half hours of recording session it will take me about 300 megabyte yeah so if you have two or three hours they will take more yeah so you have two two files one is the text file for the chat another one is the video file so if i double click on the text file let's see whether it can show to you ah uh, this is the the sample of the text see the the timestamp um the the timestamp and also the name of the participant okay that is why when you um join a meeting it is good that you have your real name yeah so it's easy for audit or it's easy for uh um later reference yeah on on uh, your session okay so this is meet recordings that been created automatically once you have your recorded session in your google meet okay uh, since i'm here okay i'm going to show you how to create how to create um a folder okay i i got this uh, google drive from from this icon for, from the google apps icon so click on drive so this is my my google drive okay so if i want to create a folder i just click on new and folder okay new folder and then i'm just i just create a folder let's say testing 02062020 it's good that you can have bits there because uh, you don't even know when you create a folder and it's easy for maintenance okay so testing 02062020 
and click the create button so you will have a folder this one okay so if you want to share this folder during the meeting session all the all the materials you can just put it inside this folder it just a uh, same concept or drag and drop okay i just put it uh some of the files maybe okay from here okay just drop it here uh, so it will drag and drop into the google drive yeah if you have a very pnc documents please do not put in the google drive please do not put in cloud storage uh, in general yeah you can just put it in the pen drive or external hard disk okay um separate it from the internet line and put it in your drawer and lock it okay uh, even though it's secured but um, it is not 100 percent secure okay so uh, uh, you have password you have password we have the security features but uh, it doesn't stop the hackers to go into your folder okay so if it's very pnc then it is advisable to put it in external media that is not connected to the internet connection yeah uh, for example the pen drive or the external hard disk or maybe cd okay all right so this is the the, the folder how are you going to share this this folder it depends on the security level okay it, it depends on how you want people to assess the folder if you think that you are going to monitor every single participant that want to assess the folder then then you right click and you go to get shareable link if you want to give allowance to only certain people you go to share and you put their emails okay but if you want to make it public but you still want to monitor you just go to get shareable link okay and switch it on you can do the same the same method in your mobile phone yeah by installing the drive apps okay and we have the sharing settings yeah sharing settings if you want to mon to monitor every single participant that goes into this okay you don't have to change anything from here but if you want to make sure that they don't bother you because this is a public folder you can just click change okay and change this to anyone with the link okay anyone with the link if you want to to allow only um students or uh, or um um community to uh to be able to go into this folder you just allow the university malaya they they, they will give you this university malaya okay but if you want to make it public anyone with the link so anyone that has the link will be able to go into this folder okay all right so i i click copy link to copy the link and i click done okay so now i'm going to share the link to you yeah i think i'm i'm going to close this okay i'm going to share to the link to you here okay try to go into the folder and let me know whether you can go inside the folder or not okay Can you go into the folder? Can you please click on, uh, on the link? Okay, all right. You will be able to see two files, right? Inside that folder, okay? All right, great. So now, okay. I want you to create an event yeah how am i going to know that you have su successfully created an, an event you need 
to invite me as the participant. Okay. So I'm going to give you the details of the event and you are going to invite me. I'm going to give you the email as well. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, open my notepad. Okay. I want you to create an event from your Google Calendar and invite me as one of the participants. Okay. So these are the details of the event. The title is Testing Testing Afternoon. Okay. The date and time. Second June is today at 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. and um, click on Google Meet so that you can have the link. Okay. You don't have to share the link uh, with me because I'm going to click from the email. Okay. So the guest, one of the guests is this. Use this email, yeah? and attach a file. Attach one file. Okay. So um, try to create this event. Okay. I'm expecting emails from this event. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to check my email from my phone, okay? If you have any question, you can switch on your mic or you can uh, use the chat area, okay? Don't forget to click on uh, uh, Google Meet, yeah, so that you can generate a link. If you have any problem, you can switch on your mic or you can uh, uh, type from the chat area, okay? Eh, oh dear. I have wrong email. Sorry. Can you please check back the email? I've given a wrong email. You know, being a human, sometimes you make mistake. If you use the previous email, I think you will be getting uh, a bounce email. Yeah. So please change the email. Okay, I'm getting one invitation to
my webcam is on, right? Oh yeah, okay. I can see it from here. I, I don't know whether you can see it. I think uh, if I, no, because of my background. Okay, I'm going to, hold on, yeah. I'm going to switch off my virtual background. Okay, so that I can show you my uh, my email. Switch off for a while. All right, so this is the email that I receive, okay, from the phone. You can just see it a bit, right, there. Okay. Vir virtual background really helps me because... Um, my background is not that pleasant, yeah? Okay. I have received one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight. Wow. I feel like Insta famous, you know? Receiving emails. Uh, and Jay, hi, hi, Lan. Yes. Yeah, I just want to check. Did you receive uh, uh, an invite from me? My name is Elaine. Why and Um. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank On you. Elaine, right? Your your email is on Indian, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You receive, yeah. I I receive from um, I I I just read through the the name from this email, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Tengku Nur Farhana Muhammad Hidayah, Muhammad Hidayat, uh, Witness King, On Ilin, Salbia, Nur Fahiza, Nur Azlita, Mariam. Fong Peng, Fong Peng Chiu and Huzairi. Okay, so far I received this 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 uh, this emails. So I'm I'm going to accept the the invitation one by one. Okay, I want you to check your email whether you receive my RSVP or not. Yeah. If you receive my RSVP, please click, uh, please type yes, yeah, uh, at the chat chat area. Because sometimes it does delay, depending on the line. Uh, Jai, okay. I've received your, your acceptance. I'm Elaine. Okay. All right. Thank you. I do. Okay. All right. Good. Great. When you send email invitation to your participants, okay, if they didn't RSVP, uh, from my experience, it's still okay as long as they join the session, okay? Because um, our culture in Malaysia uh, is still not have 100% awareness of the RSVP in the email. Yeah, that's from my 
from my observation. So um, uh, from my experience on my online classes, um, when when there are 10 participants, only five or six uh, RSVP, okay? The rest didn't RSVP because um, they just joined the meeting, okay? So uh, I hope uh, we can make it as a habit yeah, to any email invitation when you when you see invitation in in the subject of the email please go inside the email and rsvp yeah so that you make aware of the organizer yeah of of the the uh, session okay you didn't receive rsvp Um, no, it all depends on your Google Calendar. Uh, which email are you using for the Google Calendar? You can use your own Gmail, your free Gmail, or your UM, UM email. Uh, as long as you put me as a guest with this email, I will be able to receive the email, okay? Adi, I didn't receive your 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 email invitation. Yeah, maybe uh, you need to check back on the guest email. Some typo, maybe. Okay, I think some of you have uh, su succeeded in creating the the uh, um, the event, okay, of that uh, meeting. Then, uh, if you want to try on the folder, you can also do so. Yeah, if you uh, have missed the step by step, because I can see some of you uh, keep rejoining the session. Yeah, I think due to the line today so uh, you can look at the uh, recorded session later on how to uh, go about creating the folder and also uh, cre creating the event of your google meet yeah okay kalau attachment yang dihantar tu salah pal and kita nak delete and tukar file macam mana oh you can always uh, delete the attachment and uh, replace it with a new file in that email in that in your uh, in your google calendar event okay and an email will be sent to the participant as update nanti dia akan hantar uh, email update yeah, to the participant informing that you have changed something in that event okay that is why that is why it is uh, advisable to create a folder in your Google Drive instead of attach a file, okay? Because if you create a folder in the Google Drive, whenever you want to replace any files, you can just replace it, yeah? Uh, your participants will, will go into the folder on and off, yeah? Or if you want to share the folder link only during the, the session, so you have time to change any of your files in the folder, okay? But if you put attachment in the email invitation, any updates that you do in the email invitation will be updated to the participant as well. So they will receive another email uh, update, not the invitation, update, update 
of anything that you have changed in that in, in that particular uh, event calendar yeah Okay. So far, okay, yeah. I hope that after this, if you want to, um, if you want to create a Google Meet session, then uh, you go straight to your Google Calendar and you can create your event from there. So you can look at your, your, your available time directly from the calendar, yeah? Um, one question. If there's any possibility that we can create our calendar, not using Google Calendar, but using other calendar, maybe Outlook, okay? The answer? is yes because uh, you can get the link of your google meet from the meet itself without creating any calendar in your google meet yeah for example because you can just simply copy the link yeah and paste it to your email yeah if you are not using gmail for 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 example i go to um google meet of my another email okay if i want to get the link i can just join or start a meeting okay and i give a title to this yeah let's say this one is urgent urgent project meeting And then I click continue. I just now I go to Google Meet and I join or start a meeting. I click continue. Okay. And I have this joining. Okay. Let me switch off the video and the mic. So from here, from here, first I need to click join now. Join now. Okay. You just go into the meeting and you will get your joining info from here. Okay. So you can just simply leave the, the, the meeting and, and you can join later. If you don't want to, to create it from Google Calendar or, and you want to just have the link of the, of the session, yeah, and paste it in your Outlook email. You can do that as well. Okay. You can do that as well. Ready? So we have options. If you have add-on in your Microsoft Teams for, for Google Meet, you have add-on in another uh, email, you can also use that to straight away uh, use uh, uh, Google Meet as the uh, video conferencing tool. Yeah. If you don't have the add-ons, then you can just start or join the meeting and copy the link of the joining info to your email yeah so we have a uh, few options to join our uh, meeting yeah instead of using the google calendar okay all right any questions so far i hope you are doing okay at your site yeah because um, after this, I'm going to show you how to install add-ons for your Google Meet. Okay. I have few. So some of the example that I'm going to show, uh, it will give me remove from Chrome. Yeah. Instead of install. Yeah. Because I've installed it. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to close some of the tabs. Yeah. Because I have lot of tabs already here okay now i'm gonna 
get some add-ons for my Google Meet. So I'm going to click on plus sign. Okay. And then I'm going to type in Google Meet extension. Google Meet extension. Okay. You will see all the result. Yeah. Mm, so you will get few areas here. One of them is Google Meet Grid View. So click on Google Meet Grid View. If you know the name, you can just straight away type Google Meet Grid View. Then you will be receiving this page. Okay. If you haven't installed Google Meet Grid View, you will have a button here, Install to Chrome, right? Or add on or something. Uh, so install the extension or something. So you can just click Install then it will be here. This is Google Meet Grid View, which you can uh, view a lot of people at one screen like this at one time. Okay. Yeah. So this is my Google Meet Grid View. Yeah. So if you want to have the virtual background, if you want to have the, the virtual background, you can just type virtual background Google Meet. This one, virtual backgrounds for Google Meet. So this is the virtual background. Okay. I show you a few um, add-ons that is quite important for your Google Meet. Yeah. So from time to time, from time to time, please uh, try to search again um, Google Meet extensions because you might find a new one. Yeah. Because these virtual backgrounds, um, it's only here, I think, um, two weeks ago, two weeks ago on, yeah, I think two, 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 three weeks ago, something like that. Yeah. Updated May 3rd. Yeah. About a month ago or something. Uh, so, uh, um, if you can see from here, it, um, uh, it released in, in May 3rd. Yeah. Updated May 3rd, but, um, it comes to Asia, uh, Maybe one or two weeks after that. Okay. So you, you keep on, you keep on searching for this. Yeah. Sometimes you read the article is there, but it, it, it didn't, uh, it didn't release in, in Asia yet. Uh, so we have to keep ourselves updated. Yeah. Okay. So this is virtual background for Google Meet, the one that I'm, I'm using right now. The, the thing about the virtual background of, uh, uh, Google Meet is that you are being forced to use the pictures that been provided in the virtual background. Yeah, for example, this one virtual background. I can use only this. Yeah, I have no choice but to use the bookshelf because if I use this so far, if I use this so far, and if you look at my video, the sofa is at the back. What happened if there's someone and so far? Uh, takut kan? Uh, so it's better to use the bookshelf because the, you know the books is there. Okay? Only books. All right? Now, I'm going to show you how to add on the um, mid attendance. Okay? The mid attendance. The name is Meet Attendance. This is good if you are doing the online classes. So you don't have to, uh, this one, Google Meet Attendance. You don't have to uh, screenshot yeah, the people area. You can just uh, Google Meet Attendance. How come mine is add to Chrome? Because I have it ready, Meet Attendance. Oh, this, this must be another one. Okay. So I just add to Chrome, add extension. Then I will have, oh, this is another one. Okay. Is this a new one? Maybe. Okay. Oh, we have others as well here. Meet 
lunch uh, i have this also meet meet attendance or oh, they have a few google meet push to talk so if you have installed meet uh, google meet attendance you can just scroll down and look for google meet push to talk which you can mouse over and just add to chrome it will just add okay mm. we also have meet mute easy muting for when you are in a google meet uh, which means you can mute all i think okay let me try to add on you see whether we can use this or not mm. so the more you have you you install the extension the more you have it here yeah but you you can use it only during the the session okay you see when when uh, when i use a new tab some of the icon is disabled yeah will it affect the quality of our video conference if we have too much extension no because uh some of the extension can be disabled yeah if you don't want it to be there you you can di disable the 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 extension okay because uh the reason google meet using using add-ons is um they don't want to have a heavy video conferencing tool because if all the features is within video conferencing tool then it's going to be very heavy that is why they have the extension okay so if i click on the google meet grid view i will have this yeah this one enable grid view so i will have a grid view see if you still looking at my screen you will see that I have this grid view. If I have 55, I will have 55 here. Later, be, be, before the session ends, I'm going to take picture of this. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, we have the virtual background. We have this meet attendance. Let me try to use another one, this green one, Google meet attendance. Only runs in active meet. Eh, this one is active, huh? Oh, because maybe I'm not the organizer. Okay. If I click this one, the, the red one. Hmm, it is not there. Maybe because I'm not the, the organizer. Okay, let's try this. Google Meet push to talk. Hot key the space. Mute on join. Oh, if I use this, what will happen to me? Eh? Let's try. Space. No, it didn't show anything. It's okay. Uh, I have the Zoom meeting. This is all. These are all the the extension. I have the Chrome Remote Desktop. I have the Save to Google Drive. Okay. I have this Fire Shot Capture Page. If I click here capture entire page and save as pdf let's see yeah does it save to pdf hmm try it je later lah uh Go back to find short light. You can. Where does it goes? Oh, it might go to the to the to the Google Drive. Okay. I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna close this one. Let's see whether I have it in my Google Drive here. Yeah? So I'm going to go here and go to my Google Drive and have a look whether I have that PDF file. Hmm, so far I didn't see anything. No. Or does it go to... No, it, 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 it didn't go to my Google Drive. Does it go here? Download. Is this the one? Maybe this is the one. The, the download. 
but it, it doesn't have any file. Let's see whether this is the one. No, this is the old one. My guide. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Maybe because my try is fired. Okay. Never mind. You you can just try to uh to include your fire shot. Yeah. You can just have, have have a look. Yeah. This one, PDF and document annotation. If I click this one, it goes to another site. Oh, I need to log in. Yeah. I need to log in with Google. Let's try to log in from here. Then allow. Okay. Um, for work. <coughs> Education. No. Finish. Okay. Open from computer. Oh, you need to have uh, all this file one blank page at yeah then i have this you know you can uh, you can uh, make it become as the whiteboard yeah which you can mark up text highlighter box highlighter like that okay this one is not uploaded save to drive there okay you can put the text here that's how to put your text Authorize Google Drive. Wow, there's a lot of process because I'm using it for the first time. Okay. Hmm. Can I type in here? I'm supposed to type in here, but it's not there. Okay. There. Ah, okay. Okay, like that. You can have your shapes. Then, this is the color. Ni shape apa dia bagi? Oh, alright. Insert image. You can have this. Yeah, this is one of the add-on. But this is the third party add-on, yeah? Okay. So, when I close this, it's supposed to go here in my google drive yeah or the promise is to go to my to 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 my to my google drive but it might take some some times to upload yeah okay never mind we will check it later on this here yeah? ah there there's a kami uploads here okay it's a file okay so you can have that uh, they call it kami or kami uploads so that you can have your whiteboard yeah you can use it as a whiteboard okay so um google uh, google meet um has um reach of add-ons that you can try and you can put in yeah uh to assist you in your session okay Um, any questions so far? I think I have covered most of all, all of the topics. Yeah. Do you want to test your screen sharing? Okay. I can stop sharing of my screen. Then I want you to test your screen sharing. Okay. okay, I've stopped my screen sharing. Can you please test your screen sharing if you are available to test your screen sharing? Let's see whether your screen is visible in my Google Meet. Okay. Try share your screen. The method is first come, first serve, yeah?
Anyone want to try? If you are doing a screen sharing, make sure that you share a screen, not a window, not a window or a browser. Because from my experience, when we do a, a screen sharing of a window, um, Google Meet kicked me out from the system due to a heavy load of that particular file. Okay, so when we share a screen, which means we share a desktop, it shares the whole screen. So you need to, you need to uh, be aware of that. Okay. If you are opening a lot of files, then it is advisable for you to, to manage your screen first before you share your screen. Yeah. Okay. You want to try? If not, I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, I'm going to share my screen again, yeah, because I want to show you on the, uh, how again to share a screen, uh, you need to click on present now, there's an icon at the bottom, mouse over at the bottom of your Google Meet, you will see present now, you can just click on that. Now I can see your screen. This is uh, Mama Hidayat screen. Yeah? Is it your screen? Ah, you have installed some apps, yeah? some add-ons. Okay. Yep. Correct. Ah, this is Pong Peng Chui. This is your screen, which means you can simply overwrite people's screen. Okay, this is um, one of the people say advantage. Some people say it's a weakness. Okay, I do believe that they are, they are going to update soon because uh, if I, if you want to compare to Zoom, micro, uh, Microsoft uh, Zoom or my, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Teams give the same allowance of sharing screen, screen sharing, but for Zoom. Uh, it has uh, features that block participant to share screen unless allowed by the presenter. Okay, uh, so you can just sharing your your screen from here. Uh, if uh, from my from my Google Meet, the one who share the screen will get the bigger area. Okay, the screen will get a bigger area. Yeah, and the webcam uh, will get a smaller area. Yeah, we, we got a, a smaller box. Okay, so now I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, so I'm going to override uh, the current screen. Okay, I think you can see my screen now. Yeah, we are going to go into this too. The, 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 the last the last topic for this session. Number one is the people. Okay, you can look at the people from here. Okay, before we have meet, um, meet attendance, most of us will screenshot these people, this, uh, this um, area for attendance. Okay, but when, if you are the organizer, when you have meet attendance, then it will just um, add on names here yeah, in Google Sheets. Okay, so you can just upload that and save the file to Excel if you want to. Yeah, so this is the people. Uh, you can click on one of the names, uh, not your name, but others. Okay, um, as a participant, as a participant, you can pin the uh, any of the uh, the participant, which means 
uh, that particular that you pin will, will, will become the focus screen. Yeah, you can mute, you can mute other participants unless it mute by, uh, by itself. Okay, uh, unless the participant mute um, um, uh, manually. Okay, uh, if you are the presenter, if you are the organizer, you will be able to hide participant and remove participants. Okay, this is the privilege of the presenter or of the organizer. Yeah, if I create the 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 invitation, the event, I will be able to hide and also remove the participants. Okay, and uh, as you can see, the chat area will allow you only to chat and also to share links, but it didn't allow you to share any files. Yeah, it it, it didn't allow you to share any files. Okay. So, uh, Google Meet doesn't have a features that can share a file as yet. It shares a file via Google Drive or via email invitation attachment. Okay. So, um, uh, we, uh, I think uh, from time to time, Google Meet will, will update its features so that you can share a file from here. Okay. If you share a file from, from here, people will need to download it. Yeah, but if you share a file in uh, Google Drive, then it's easy for them to go to that drive from time to time. Okay, because the drive is there all the time. As long as they have the link, the drive is there all the time. Okay. All right. Is there any question? You have my email. Yeah, you can use the, the email that I shared just now uh to send me questions or if you are going to teach google meet as one of your topics yeah to your students uh we can share uh more articles yeah i have a lot of articles and videos as you can see just now and uh videos that i got it from youtube i just download it uh for for research purposes and education purposes just download it and if you want to have that we can share that with you, okay? Any question? Ada soalan? Okay, the final, the final um, concern yeah of using internet line for online teaching is the bandwidth okay so this is um, a major concern actually because our bandwidth is not as great as um you expect yeah uh for the time being it has been cut into half okay due to due to the 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 mco so what we can do is we always make sure that if our line is not is not in good condition you can share your screen but at the same time switch off your webcam okay you can enable your mic you can share your screen but switch off your webcam because webcam does take a lot of data because it's streaming yeah video streaming okay google meet boleh dibuat oleh individu ke atau hanya di bawah organisasi google meet boleh buat uh, uh, the individu recently uh, google allow a free gmail account to create email invitation using google meet okay previously they didn't allow only the organization will 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 allow to do that but recently they allow the free gmail to do it and they allow it only until end of september okay due to COVID 19. after that they will they will decide whether they are going to block again and you must have your paid gmail account i have my paid gmail account for my company uh for you in um you don't have to worry because your Gmail account is also paid Gmail account, yeah, under Google for Education. Okay, so you don't have to to worry. But if you if if you want to create using a free Gmail account, it will be available only until end of September. Yeah, 
only until end of September. And the number of participants of 250 will only available only until end of September. After that, it will depends on your subscription. Yeah, for Google for for education, you can have that 250 participants at one time. Kalau guna Google Meet for meetings kan, if you are the participant or the organizer, make sure you have your real name lah, yeah, so that it's easy for others to recognize you, yeah. Okay, any more question? If there, if there is no more question, I can pass back to the organizer to wrap up the session. Thank you very much for attending the session. Um, the, I pass back to the organizer. Sama -sama. Please do keep in touch yeah, with my email. Yeah. If you want to contact me directly, I think I can give you my number. Okay. So you can contact me directly by your WhatsApp. Okay. That's my number. Okay. You can also contact me by email because I'm on I'm on internet 24-7 actually. <laughs> Doing my research and also a lot of things, yeah. Orang IT kind of that. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Uh, sorry. This is uh, Zahir. I'm, I'm uh, representing at uh, our um, our staff uh, is in another uh, video call right now uh, mm -hmm. with a different group. So okay. we would like to thank uh, you for uh, handling this um, uh, this webinar today. Uh, uh, okay. It's good to see all the uh, responses and also all the interactions that we have. Uh, in uh, the uh, session uh, mm. and uh, I think there will be uh, two more sessions isn't it uh, afterwards yeah. on our uh, platform so we will see you again um, later so the next one will be 12 at 12 o'clock and then yeah. um, the other one will be on which one? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. No, yes, 2 p.m. Oh, Microsoft team, yeah. We've got, we've they, got a few yeah. things running today, so so uh, <laughs> do apologize for that. So, uh, thank you very much. Thank you uh, all for uh, joining. So, we will see you again um, uh, it at uh, 12 o'clock. Thank you. For Zoom, okay. Thank you very yes. much.